It means it's going to be a sweltering night ahead for people who live in a local apartment complex. They tell us they really can't catch a break. They've been plagued with ongoing maintenance issues for months. First, they had no hot water. Now, an opposite problem. News 3's Georgia Costa has been talking with people who live at the Tides on Wynn Apartments who say they are now without air conditioning in this record heat wave. It's not the first time I've been out here showing you the many ongoing issues several residents say they've been dealing for months. And since our stories aired last month, many residents say their issues were fixed. However, others say that solution was only temporary. It's really frustrating and I told them that and I've been honest with them about how frustrating it is. I mean, yeah, it's it sucks because one of the one of the worst things about it for me is that they're just lying to us to just have us spinning in circles, just telling us like, oh yeah, somebody's working on it, but they're not. Eric Garner, who's been living at the Tides on Wynn Apartments for nearly a year, says since moving in, his hot water has been going in and out for days and sometimes even weeks. One of many struggles several residents at the same complex have dealt with for months. They don't fix nothing. You can call for maintenance. It takes maintenance two or three weeks to get to you. Air conditioning problem, people not having hot water, sewer backing up. Having dealt with a plethora of ongoing issues, Garner says he's now dealing with a broken AC unit, a much needed amenity he says is desperately needed as temperatures climb. Hot water and air conditioning are a necessity and it's in the contract that they're supposed to provide those things. That's why I'm paying them. But after trying to get the apartment complex workers to address the issue and cool his apartment that's sitting at 90 degrees, Garner says he was kicked out of the leasing office. At one point, a maintenance worker even knocks Garner's phone out of his hand. But not only do we not have these basic needs that we're paying for, but we're being lied to about what they're doing about it, which is nothing. Now, residents like Garner say they plan on moving out once their lease is up. Now, they also tell me they plan on withholding rent until that issue is fixed. Now, I also tried going to the office, who, which the door was locked. But once I looked inside, I made eye contact with some of the workers who were hiding behind their desk and refused to come to the door. Now, I also reached out to FPI management who oversees the property for a response, and I have done so several times, but I'm still waiting on a response back. But for now, reporting, in Las Vegas, Georgia Costa News 3.